You know, when I was growing up, I was an ugly child. Each morning as I walked past the mirror, I would ensure that my head was in the opposite direction simply because I was afraid. I was afraid to see that monster that constantly stared at me, ripped my heart out and tortured me. My eyes, the windows to my pain, I kept them to the floor. Why? I was ugly and I believed it. I never liked wearing skirts. My skin was always scarred with dark spots and puberty at age eight did me no justice. My face studded with acne. I was different and it hurt. In high school, I would always hear the snickering and giggling at the back of the room. My hair, it was always unkempt. They laughed, but no one seemed to realize that was only a reflection of how I felt. I was deemed an African. Yes, an African, because all Africans were dark, degraded, and debased. The sadness of this story, those words were words from voices of my race. Teachers, they made snide remarks, disturbing comments. My hair, it was never of the perfect length. I was ugly and I believed it. I had friends. But eventually I became detached. At nights I would find myself alone, crying, battered. I yearned for acceptance. The pain, it lasted. The misery, it lasted. It ate my soul. It lasted, my friend. But just for a while. You see... Not understanding the concept of beauty can be quite devastating to an individual's self-esteem. The perception that I had in my head was far from what was real. The long curly hair, the straight nose, the lighter skin, the epitome of grandeur. They were only images. Images pushed upon my mind through socialization. Until we realize that beauty is no longer skin deep. The images, they will remain, and they will eventually become real. Those that I had in my mind, I no longer can see. Thank you very much.